Well, Tropical Storm Debbie is coming gone, thank goodness, and there's something else to watch out there. Yeah, CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunsing joins us with the latest on Tropical Storm Ernesto. Yeah, and we just got that 5 o'clock advisory on Ernesto, and it does continue to gain strength. Winds are sustained at 60 miles per hour as it moves through the Caribbean tonight, and it's moving to the west-northwest at 18 miles per hour. By the way, it is also just about 130 miles from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now, as this continues to move to the west-northwest, it's going to skirt the eastern side of Puerto Rico and then straight into a hurricane. From there, it's going to turn more north and then eventually northeast, moving toward Bermuda, likely as a Category 2 hurricane. Ernesto is likely going to be more than 600 miles to our east, so hey, that means no problems for us, right? Well, if you're planning a trip to the beach this weekend, even a storm hundreds of miles away can still cause problems. So these strong hurricanes create high waves and swells, which can travel hundreds of miles out from the center and create higher waves even off our coast. By Friday and then into the weekend. On average, waves could be up to around five, possibly up to six feet. So in addition to the rough waters due to waves, rip current risk is also expected to be high. Forecasts right now call for most of our coast to be under a high risk for rip currents, mainly Saturday and Sunday, but this is also expected to continue into next week. So remember when you head to the coast, we mentioned this already, watch for beach hazard flags. If you see a red flag, that means dangerous conditions are present in the water and you should not go in. So rip currents are a major weather killer. Since 2010, 67 rip current deaths have occurred in North Carolina with three of those happening last year. Most of those fatalities are from those of us coming from inland areas out toward the coast, and a majority of those are men. So this is yet another reminder that a tropical system does not have to hit us directly. Impacts are still possible along our coast. So, of course, the CBS 17 Storm Team will keep you updated no matter what, guys.